Kia and welcome aboard this Air New Zealand flight. Hey everyone, we're back! Welcome back fam! So because the travel bubble between New Zealand and Australia have opened and it's our anniversary so we decided to fly to Queenstown and we just wanted to show you our experience of how it is like to fly internationally during a pandemic. So yeah. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the vlog. Now. <laughs> We're ready for our flight. The airport is so empty right now. <laughs> it's like a ghost town, isn't it? It is a ghost town. Yeah, so our flight is NZ232 to Queenstown. You ready? Here's the check-in for Air New Zealand. Ready to check in? Ready to check in. Huh? So we've checked in. It was a pretty quick check-in. Yeah, it was empty. <laughs> Nice and empty. Got a boarding pass. Going through immigration soon and security. Wear your face oh, mask. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so duty free is all closed. Well, actually, I lied. It's open on that side. And the security gates, a lot of them are closed. There's only one open. So this side is open, but that side's closed. That's cute. That's very cute. Look at her all excited to be in the airport. <laughs> How are you feeling? Hungry. <laughs> Always hungry. <laughs> Got my breakfast bowl. It's got the usual, you know. Just the usual. Going to our flight now. We're boarding soon. Oh, yeah. It's a little tail. <laughs> so we're boarding from gate 25. Three, two, seven, three, please sound operating. Operation without our airlines. We're now at airport Solo, Solo, Airport. This is what now we're doing. Like, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Mind putting your mask up for me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Tahuna Aotearoa. A very warm welcome to Queenstown, New Zealand, everyone. The local time is 1.32 in the afternoon. Welcome to Queenstown, New Zealand. 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 Found a friend here. <laughs> Let's go. Pick up the car. Queenstown has been waiting for us. We're in Queenstown. <laughs> and it's raining. Queenstown is just welcoming us with rain. <laughs> The normal way. New Zealand missed us too much. So yeah, um, the flight was quick. It was meant to be three hours, but it ended up being like two hours and forty minutes. Right? It's pretty quick. The flight was pretty full at the front, not like full. There was spare seats, but then yeah, when you look at the back, I don't know if you noticed, but it was pretty empty at the back. I think there were only <laughs> a total of thirty people on the flight, which was pretty cool. So. You know, we could have switched seats and sat at the back. Lie down, have a Chilled over there. <laughs> but we didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, they're very strict. You always have to wear your mask. Obviously, the there's flight. a plane that just flew by. Oh, that's that same flight. <laughs> it's heading back to Sydney. But um, yeah, they're very strict with masks, with um, us wearing masks. You can only take it off, obviously, when you're eating and drinking and when um, they're checking your identity, like your passports, your boarding pass. Oh no, they don't check your No. <laughs> Just passports, like through immigration. Um, yeah, and obviously you have to sanitize, wash your hands, but it wasn't actually too bad. The overall experience, I would say, is, it was pretty smooth. Like it was pretty quick, obviously, because there's not a lot of people in the flight. So it was quicker for us to go through security and immigration. Um, and yeah, there, it was just pretty much the same as normal flying but you have to wear masks and social distance that was pretty good had a pretty good nap oh yeah no one distracted me <laughs> i just had a really good nap so would highly recommend to nap on the planes if you guys <laughs> get the chance so yeah we're heading to the hotel now um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video yeah we just wanted to share how it was like flying during a pandemic um yeah i've always wondered like how different is it but I guess because it's a travel bubble between two countries, it's easier. But if you yeah. fly to a country where you have to quarantine, that would be different. There isn't much difference with the amount of cases here in New Zealand and Australia. So we didn't actually have to do much. But when we landed, they did some temperature, temperature checks yeah. and yeah, yes. asked if we've been to hot spots. And if we have the symptoms like, you know, coughing, sore throat, sneezing things like that so yeah just the usual stuff but yeah it was actually pretty smooth um, it was came in safe and sound and, and it's yeah. raining but yeah that's pretty much it guys we'll wrap this up now we'll catch you guys in our next video see ya bye and that's a view right now <laughs>